as you play, you will find more options open to you. Should you find yourself blocked or overly challenged, take the time to explore the board. Unlocking cards will give you options you have not yet considered. Well, you mean like replaying old things with new cards? Maybe? Let's go with the Empress? We still only have one companion. Alright, earn fame in order to wield the legendary weapon Hritha's Ire. Villages on the northern outskirts are under assault from northern raiders. Defeat the mighty shaman who lead who is leading their raids. Gain enough fame to wield the mighty... Okay, well actually let's see what the other one is then. This is a nice change, being able to choose your path and then like there's actually like, a goal for that level. Uh, what up, Kath? How's it going? Uh, let's see, so for the Emperor, thieves have stolen a relic from the Emperor's palace. The Empire are looking to hire adventurers to help you cover this and other items. The road ahead may be long. Ensure you have enough food to avoid starvation. The wilds are lawless lands. Uh, thieves are on the run. Use the map to be able to navigate. Ah, uh, you know what, let me do the other one. I want a legendary weapon. That sounds cool. Alright, ten encounters. First, we will grab the ones that can give us tokens. Because those give us cool rewards. Uh, the Old Maiden is a good one. I want to try the arm wrestling again. We haven't seen this one yet. Do the Gnomish, Lost Boy, Manny Mean. Fork on the road. We can get eight. We have to fill this out, right? Yeah, we have to fill it out. Alright. So we'll have some bad stuff and some new stuff. Let's go. Oh, um, I mean, let's go. There we go. In this case, the Empress is a symbol, a leader of the Northern clans, but not their only one. Now we come to one of the new nuances of our game. Uh -huh. The hunt for fame. And esteem would not work for all players, but it works for you. I can sense it in you. Your pride. Your skill. In time, we will learn all of you. Hmm. Raiders have destroyed our village, the Elder of Talos explains in a hushed voice. They were sent by a dark shaman of the north. They were searching for this. He draws a large warhammer from his cloak. Breath is ire. Tis the only weapon that will break the seal protecting their encampment. He hands you the weapon. Anger is a powerful force. So I need 20 fame to wield this. Okay. Er, uh, let's see. Earn fame by completing encounters. Alright. The Elder looks straight in your eyes as though peering into your soul. Not all weapons are for all men. Only those who have demonstrated great acts of valor and courage may bear Rith's ire. Do well to remember that. I know this, I know that. A twisted creature with great power, never seen on the battlefield. But I hear she commands her warriors from her camp in the forest of the east. We sent our warriors to find her, but a magical barrier prevents anyone from entering her sanctum. It is said that Ritha's Ire can break through such a barrier. If she were attacked at her camp, these raids could surely be stopped for good. Alright, I'm good. Let's go. You must find the courage to wield this weapon and defeat the shaman before the fifth village falls. The villages need a hero. The town of Braydon is surely in danger and must be warned. Well, okay. What? Is that where we start? Thank you. I trust the sacrifice of Talos not go in vain. He bows his head. May the gods bring you good fortune. So that's the end of this place, right? I'm ah. torn between my loathing for gnomes and my despair that the world is becoming less strange and arcane as the Empire spreads. Halt, vile humans! A voice calls out as a dozen small creatures leap from the trees around you. It takes a moment to realize they are gnomes. Dirty, poorly armed gnomes. A few hold spears, but most only have a rock or a sharpened stick. We seek arms to defend ourselves, a gnome declares loudly. Hand over some of your equipment and we'll release you. We can even pay you something. I'll give you some food for a helmet, one of the small folk exclaims. 
No, give me some armor and I'll give you a health potion. I don't have anything to give, so no. You refuse the gnome's attack. Well, oh, I don't get to fight him. They just, what? What? I was like, I'm going to destroy these gnomes. They just get free hits? F that card. Oh, the Carnival of Strength is back. All right, cool. So now we gotta start from the beginning. So we gotta get the uh, halfling, I think is what this is. Oh my god. Come on. Well. Your supplies are running low. Make your choices carefully. Uh, rustling behind you is all the warning you get that your life is in danger. You turn as the cords of a northern boulder wrap around your body. Oh boy. Trappers throw hunting traps that snare their targets. Use evade to avoid the traps. Or change move direction rapidly to break free. I'll have you All right. Thank you for the shield, buddy. Come here, you trappers! Ah! You're next! Tokshin, avoid the swords, they heard. Thank you, Dewa. With the raiders defeated, you contemplate your next move. Search for spoils. Oh, we need the. F oh God. Oh no. Oh no. I I don't know. Um. Well, I kind of wanted the food, but you know, gold's fine, I guess, as long as you don't starve. Oh my God. A general store. That is exactly what I needed. Thank you, my friend. Holy crap. You can camp and buy food as well. Wait, you can buy food from Campfires the campfire? Offer a chance to see what your companion has to say about your current challenge. After a long day's travel on the King's Road, you find yourself at a trader's camp. Oh! Oh! I didn't realize you could do that. But they charge more. I see. Okay. Cool. Thank you, Secret. Here's a token for you, if you can earn it. Oh, we got this again. Oh, man. Okay. So, we have to pass the challenge. Oh, no, I don't have enough gold for it. Gosh darn it. All right, so we failed that again. Because I didn't have the 10 gold price. Shoot. Let us see what the next town holds. Following the Talos Elder's instructions, you find yourself on the road to Braydon. Dusk falls as you continue on your quest. When the cards shuffle, you have to pick the correct one in order to win. Thank you, Sheridan. Do not take lightly the mantle of fame. Being a figurehead is not without consequences. All right. A storm brews as you arrive at Brayden and find it under attack from raiders. 
As the village burned, three brave farmers attempt to defend the last of the surviving villagers. One calls out, Please help! We must stop these savages before all is lost. You draw your weapon and rush to their aid. One-handed weapons are recommended against northerners. Are they? Is it because of the repost system and all that? Okay. Sure. Uh, Calf, I get picked on a lot in every stream. And that's okay. Is there a different button for repost? I tried to evade the bola that was coming my way, and then I got hit. Get wrecked, northerners! Uh, repost is just about blocking and then attacking again at the right time. Okay. Didn't I buy a shield at the store? Uh, that was in the last level, Mr. Raffle Waffle Fool. <laughs> that's, that's good there. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, because it's this shield right here, actually, that we're getting. Or would I rather just have the soldier sword? I would probably rather have the soldier sword. The shield is good against corrupted, which we're not fighting anymore. The surviving villagers rush to the farmer's aid and tend their wounds. Thank you, hero, they cry. You have saved our people, but sadly our village is no more. Please accept a small token of our gratitude. We get four fame. Hey, we get food. Hey, we get food. I'm a broken record. It is not time to celebrate. They are surely mustering to raid the town of Tarin. They point further south, down the riverbank. If you are a true hero, you will surely save them. With another village lost to the northerners, you set out for the next town without delay. Okay, let's go here. Ever since I've returned to this world, I've been disappointed. The filth, the shame, the horrors dwell in the minds of men, not in the monsters in the darkness. <laughs> Sheridan, gosh darn it. Westwind's only tavern, the Rusty Razor, is a safe harbor among the many dangers of the outer reaches of the Empire. Its barkeep sits outside his establishment with a look of resigned defeat. Upon your arrival, he jolts straight up and a smile almost breaks out across his face. At last, someone from the guild is here. These Empire soldiers have almost ruined me. Before you can disagree, the owner swings open the salon door saloon doors and pushes you inside. I have to kill Empire soldiers? Inside, you discover a handful of Empire soldiers enjoying ale rather than doing their duty. The freshly invigorated barkeep hops onto the table and shouts above the noise. You lazy drunken deserters are done! The Steward's Guild has sent an enforcer here, and now you're all going to have to get back to your posts. This town needs defending. One of the soldiers rises with a slight sway. We've got three days until our shift ends, and we return to civilization, so we're not doing any fighting unless they threaten the supply of ale. Right, lads? A racist cheer erupts and beer tankards smash together all around. So why don't you take your shiny little badge and shove off? The barkeep turns to you. What are you going to do? I want to threaten. You suggest with menace that the soldiers should report to the duty, or they'll report to the healer. Okay. Huge success. I think I think it's this one. Boom. One soldier spits at your feet, but turns and leaves. The rest file slowly out behind him. Nicely done. No fighting necessary, though I would have kicked their butts, to be sure. Ah, oh, the old maiden. 
Let me ask for gold again. Thank you for the gold. You're pretty certain the game will tell him in five seconds. Wait, what? Grabs popcorn, offering some to chat. Oh, I would like some popcorn. Always Full treat rep. those who feed you with respect. Even I stand by this rule, and I have respect for few. All right. You chance upon a wooden cart, overflowing with pears, pies, and many items otherwise. A wonderful smell wafts from the cart. Malaklip shakes his head. Poor old Chester. This is why you should never be seduced by the wild wills, wiles of a woman, coin slave. They'll break your heart and leave you selling your lemon tarts with little business sense. The old farmer hawks his wares to passerbys. Tarts, pies, and exotic fruits. Chester gives you a jolly wave. What would you like to buy on this fine morning? I'm down for... Exotic fruits. Chester passes you a bunch of blue oblong fruits covered in pink speckles. Chester smiles at the exotic fruits for a while as if remembering a happy memory. Before he finally decides on a price. What? I saw a bunch of high numbers. Oh, uh, what up, really? I think that was the lowest of them. I'll, I'll pay the price. That's actually pretty good. Eight food for ten gold is actually really good. Uh, that's that's it, I think. Thank you. Strange oh. things still exist. Do you not see the beauty in this plant? True wonders still remain. Treat it gently. Uh, welcome, Fang. How's it going? Again, you had a good song that you posted in the music channel of uh, Discord. I like that one, the Phantom one. Um, high on a misty mountaintop, you discover a vicious-looking plant. Its gaping mouth looks more than capable of shredding you to pieces, but at its base, you notice some unusual fruit. If you throw something, you may be able to distract the savage mouth, thus allowing you to steal its fruit. Hmm. Mm. Mm. Crap, I, wait, I have to do it now? Oh, I can't back out? Oh my god. Let's throw the quest item. Really? I gotta do this? Oh my god. I thought he could back out of this. Oh no. That sucks. Alright, take my sword. Oh! There we go. Okay, never mind. Keep your equipment. You look for something suitable on the ground to throw, but quickly lose your way in the mist. That's fine. I think that's just a thing to get food, and we don't need any more right now. You'll notice that my carriage does not stop for every distressed traveler along the way. Hmm. Yep. Even if this goes bad, we'll still get something out of it. Roll, 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 roll! Mm. I need more dice for this roll. Well, we'll fight some bandits then. Uh, welcome, Rock Doug. What up, Rainbow Jedi? Hmm. Oh, yeah, look at this sword. It's a pretty cool sword, isn't it? here <laughs> I have the worst throws I really do secret I really do rip dice yes actually if I could I would throw these dice away to get new ones 
Because these are terrible dice, Lil Red. It always ends up with people being killed by Toke. I mean, when I have bad rolls, then, yeah. With the thugs defeated, you search their bodies. Come on. Alright, good enough. What up, Malinor? What up, El Hombre? We gain four fame. Gain some more food. Alright, we're pretty much good on food right now. Actions, of course, have consequences. You cannot think that the steps you have taken will bring a simple peace. No. Alright. You arrive at Terran to find it under attack from raiders. As the village burns... Okay, so it's the same thing as last time. Come, villagers! We defend your village. Press the wrong button there. even get in that fight? What do we get? Okay, requires 10 hits. Perform a powerful strike that causes knockdown to northerners. Enemies to knockdown can be defeated with a finisher. Hmm. Against northerners, repost deals 150% damage and counts double towards weapon charge. Alright. Alright. We will take that. The surviving villagers rush to the farmer's aid and tend to their wounds. Thank you, hero, they cry. You have saved our people, but our sadly our village is no more. Another village gone. Oh my god. Alright, remember when we were having problems with food? Uh, it is not time to celebrate. They are surely mustering to raid the town of Dagger... Dagger... Dangar Noon. That, yeah, that word. Alright, so let's go save that town. Hmm, general store. We can sell equipment. Just sell that. We don't need food. What other equipment do you have? What does Ruby Ring do? Uh, inspect. Gain plus 10 max life while you have more blessings than curses. I don't have any blessings nor curses. Um, so n no? Nah, we don't need that. Although, does this count as a blessing, then? You know what, never mind. I don't need any of that. We're good. When the hero runs in... Raider's ambush. Alright, we've already done one of these. Their trap. Be careful, lest they put you in your place. How much is this game on Steam? $100.89.99. <laughs> Not quite that much, but I like that two of you went there. This game is a million dollars. Oh, someone secret already said that too. Oh my god. You've all beat me to it. Gosh darn it. Oh wow, this is a this is a lot. None of them 
not really attacking though. Finally reposted. Reposted? Search for spoils. I think this one? Nope. Nope. Wasn't that one. Nope, wasn't that one at all. You want to go to work, Elena? Well, I mean, you have that option. That in could be consequences. Life, you will but you have, have that option. Endless intersections, yet this one sticks with you. Why? What is it in your memory that catches here? You arrive at a signpost detailing the possible path north and south. Malakov sniffs the air. My magical senses are pulling me toward the north. It smells like someone is backing. Backing. Baking cinnamon pies somewhere up ahead. Oh, that that's all that was? Alright. The market thief, okay. Oh my god. This time you gotta catch him. Shit. I think it's this one? I don't know, did anyone else catch it? which one it was? I think it's this one. Do you think it's one, Rainbow? Mac thinks it's one. Three, maybe? It's the third? One? Oh my gosh. It's the far right? Oh no. Multiple people have said three and one. I'm gonna go for three. It was two! No one said to- Oh, Illu said two right there. Now I see Illu saying two. Gosh darn it. Eight? I don't think eight was- That's an option. Whoops. Oh, there goes all of our gold. Sorry, wanted to feel included. I understand. It's funny that two was Tokshin's first gut reaction. Yeah, I should just put with it. Oh, the damsel again. Well, let's let the die betray me. Ooh. Okay, this is probably gonna reroll like a one. Oh no, we did it. All right. We don't have to fight anybody. Thank you for the three life and fifteen gold. But we did get fame. We only need two more now. Children. Oh, the lost boy. <laughs> it's hard to conceive that either of us were ever such. That's true. He's just a small child, you over here. A deeper voice growls. We have to take him to the dungeons or else he'll run straight to whatever northern clan he spawned from and show them where our outpost is. That's a shifty looking kid. I wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw him, says Malaclips. You decide the boy's fate. I mean, I can't throw this lost child into a dungeon. And Mac says kill the kid. Okay. Okay. Well, we're not listening to Mac for the rest of the stream. The wall says kill the child. My goodness, people. It's a kid! Good God, we're gonna save the boy. Unsheathing your weapon, you demand they let the boy go. Oh shit. Now we have to fight phalanx and musket people? Oh no, we made the wrong choice. We should have thrown him in prison. We should have just thrown him in the prison, walked away. What have I done? 
Now I have to fight people that have guns. Okay, soldiers block all attacks, greatly reducing their damage. Use bash to open them up for damage. Alright, no problem. Where's the other gunner? Oh no! We saved the lost boy. Gain 8 health? Okay. As you check on the unconscious guards, you notice the boy looking at you warily, as if sizing you up. Wait, what? I'm sorry, wait a minute. Oh, I thought I only had two dice there. I was like, there's no way two six sides equal a 13 in any roll. Oh, so close. Oh, man. Alright. Will we re-roll one of the threes? And hope for a four, five, or six? Alright! He fiddles with a little dried plant hung around his neck nervously. Okay, I will tell you. There was an Empire ambush on our village, and I ran with Mother. We got separated. He wiped some tears from his face angrily. But I'm not afraid! I am of Clan Catsfoot, and we are great pathfinders. I will find my way home. Yes! Now the power is yours to use. The power of the dark side. Perform a powerful strike that causes knockdown to a single target. Impact tracks enemies and causes sun. Thank you for the wall, Amy. Sam is in there somewhere. No, Sam is not. He's a zombie. Uh, Bash causes additional damage to armor. Bash deals additional damage to armor and enemies while they block. Susceptible to evade. Cannot repose. Okay. Yeah, sure. It appears you are worthy to wield the weapon of champions. Heck yeah. The raiders will hide from you no longer. You turn Earth Desire over in your hands. The rune on it on its face begins emitting a golden light. It is unclear if it now weighs less or you have a newfound strength. But either way, you can now wield the mighty hammer. Malaclips looks on in awe. Wow, that would earn a pretty penny at the markets. But uh, first, let's use it to break the barrier to the Northern Raiders camp, slay the shaman, and stop the raids once and for all. I see, okay. Let's go. You have prepared yourself for this battle. Now you must face it, but not alone, perhaps. It is as the Talos Elder said, Malakos remarks. The Shaman's Sanctum is protected by a magical barrier. Best you try that hammer. You raise Retha's ire above your head and bring it down against the magical wall with all your might. The hammer finds its mark and you are immediately engulfed in a blizzard of snow and ice. The howling winds spin you this way and that then vanish as quickly as they had appeared. Disoriented, you look around for Malaclips, but he is nowhere to be found. You find your bearings and realize you are standing in a forest clearing covered in newly fallen snow. You step back and bump into something. Turning, you see a towering northern clansman, bald and brutal. He has brute strength, if nothing else. Oh, is this a possible new companion? He does not flinch, nor seems even in the slightest bit interested in you. He stands with weapons drawn and brow lowered. You turn to follow his gaze. 
Then you see her, sitting on a throne of wicker and thorns, small straw-plated charms and oddities hanging from the trees behind her. Before her kneel countless raiders, worshipping their leader in an eerie stillness. The defenders of villages and the exiled one, the shaman says with a hiss. She steps down from her throne. I know why you have come. Let's end, or let this end. I hope you know how to fight, hero, says the bald northerner calmly. There are more warriors here than we can kill. To defeat a snake, you must cut off his head. Lo, there do I see the line of my people. Back to the beginning. Uh, you ready your weapon as the shaman and her clansmen surround you. Lo, there do I see my mother. What up? Raid leaders of the front line of the Northern Assault, centers of tactical and religious guidance. They can cast spells that heal their allies. Attack her quickly to interrupt the spell. Yes, that was 13th Warriors, Danny. Uh, take care, Secret. Enjoy your sleep. Back from the beginning, Blurp. Yep. 13th Warriors is a great movie. If you have not seen it, I suggest you watch it. Ow. Dang it. Oh no. Oh no. Get hit! Back to the beginning! Oh, that's a cool move. The shaman's body rises as the dark spirit leaves her chest and vanishes into the air. The remaining raiders flee into the forest. As the sky is clear, the sun beams down on the colossal warrior that had fought alongside you. I am Kjolbjorn, he explains. I am Tjorbjorn. Uh, I was born into the northern clans, but I am clanless now. You do not know us, but we were not always like this. Perhaps one day the clans will return to the tradition they have lost. Alright. You and I have cleared a small part of the stain for my honor this day. If you call, I will answer. He reaches out a massive hand and clasps your forearm. Blurp, yeah. Lo, they do call to me. Oh my, now I go, hold on. Another card returns to my deck. Do not worry. I have worry. to look that up now. I have more challenges before you will be ready to face my foe. All right, before, before we do that, let me see if I can find that speech so that people on the stream know what the hell we're talking about. There it is, 13th Warrior Viking Prayer. Alright, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's a great prayer. It's a great movie. And again, you should all watch it. Uh, let me see if I can put this on display. Let's do that. Okay. You should really watch this movie. Quick, quick break from the game. Gonna make it a little Rest smaller, though. I have squandered Oops. my days with plans of many things. There we go. This was not a man then. But at this moment, I beg only to live the next few minutes well. When the time I hope the, the prayer is in this. I think it should be. Don't let them be taken. For all 
we ought to have thought. And have not thought. All we ought to have said. Have not said. All we ought to have done. And have not done. I pray thee, God, for forgiveness. So this is their leader, and earlier in this movie, he got poisoned by the leader of the enemy that's charging them right now. Uh, so he's dying at the time of this battle, but he is a Viking, so he's going to be out there fighting to the bitter end. His name is Bulvi. He's fucking awesome. The Viking purse coming though. I, I, this is a longer clip than I had intended. In this clip, I'm going to be so upset because we've watched a lot of this for no reason at all. But I think it's coming up right here. Lo, there do I see my father. Lo, there do I see my mother and my sisters and my brothers. Lo, there do I see the line of my people. Back to the beginning. No, they do call to me. They bid me take my place among them. In the halls of Valhalla, where the grave may live. And then there's a battle sequence, but anyway, that's the Viking prayer. Me and um, a buddy of mine quote that all the time, because it's such a good movie. Anyway, let's get back to the video game that we were playing. And see what rewards we get. Another northerner falls before you, and a new companion joins your journey. Armor of Gluttony. Alright. Ring of Food. That sounds good. Pious Robes and the Frontier Bobbits. Okay. Oh, alright. So we got that dude. Oh, Clan Eyebright. I guess that's his card. And then the Wanderer. Alright. Uh, okay. 